This is Kim Horcher with a Channel 3 News Update. Dueling press conferences. First, District Attorney Tony Rakakis and his staff came together to discredit former Assistant DA Todd Spitzer, accusing him of abusing his authority. It's a kind of a bullying sort of uh, 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 attitude. That conduct was inappropriate, insulting, and, uh, um, and, and not the way I want to be represented as the district attorney. Then Spitzer fired back, alleging several instances of corruption on his former employer's part, including the case of James Ochoa, a man wrongfully convicted for carjacking by the DA. How do you authorize your staff to go into the Orange County Crime Lab and try to get them to change a report about DNA? That's outrageous. It was no secret Spitzer was being groomed to eventually replace Rakakis upon retirement. But Spitzer was fired in August for alleged improper seeking of information from another county agency. Well, it was always my intention to support him, assuming that he, that he develops into the, uh, uh, into the mature decision maker, the person with the skills and the, uh, and the discretion and the ability, the judgment, uh, to be the next DA. According to the DA's office, he didn't. They laid out a laundry list of alleged misdeeds by Spitzer, including trying to funnel clients to his friend and undermining management. But the opposing press conferences clearly became a case of he said, they said. I provided documentation today on every front to show that everything they have alleged is made up false and they're just on a character assassination. In a battle between high profile attorneys, both sides with supporting evidence, it's hard to know what exactly happened. And it seems we won't see any resolution to the situation until 2014 when the elections are held. Are you definitely running in 2014? Absolutely. I think it's incumbent on me to, uh, uh, to, to, to not put him in the position. This is Kim Horcher with a Channel 3 News Update.